Brian here at Model Domestic Church. I am so excited about this video today because I'm revealing to you all the curriculum that we will be using for the 2021-2022 homeschool year. Now, before I uh, continue, I want to say a couple months ago, I made a video where I was kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I had ordered some different stuff, but I was just feeling like I wasn't sure. And I just kept praying. I kept praying and praying, Lord, what do you want us to use? Um, and finally, the perfect curriculum presented itself. So I did a video a couple of days ago to show you. Um, I contacted them and I wanted to give you guys another option of great Catholic homeschool curriculum. And so I made a video about it. And after I got some of the items in and was looking over everything and really checking out their website, I just totally fell in love with the curriculum. So I talked to my husband about it and I really wanted to know what he thought about it. And we talked about, you know, um, what we wanted to do this upcoming year and we feel super good about it and I went ahead and ordered everything already so enough enough talking right so what is it what are we going to be using we are going to be using St. Jerome Library and School so we're really really excited it is a tra traditional Catholic homeschool curriculum um, very pre-Vatican II the way it looks this is their mission statement on their website if you want to check it out and like I said in my other video, we are a Roman Catholic family. We um, believe, you know, in Vatican II and follow Pope Francis. There is so much good, so much good in this homeschool curriculum. It is so beautiful. There's a simplicity in it because when I look at it and I read the directions, I know exactly what they're asking the child to do. There have been some curriculums we've used in the past when I'm reading the directions. Even I'm kind of confused as to what the kids are supposed to do. And that's one thing I really, really, really liked about this curriculum. So on this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you our fourth grader, upcoming fourth graders homeschool curriculum. Um, St. Jerome's Library and School were so, so wonderful and um, sent this curriculum to us for the fourth grade year. So I can share with you guys in this channel. You can check it out. Then I was just so in love that we purchased... Um, the first grade curriculum and the kindergarten curriculum, almost all the items for the bundle. I will be doing separate videos for those as they come in, but this one I will have the fourth grade homeschool curriculum unboxing and I'll share with you guys all the stuff that I got in. And I'm really, really excited. I think that so many of you, if you have been searching and looking for a Catholic curriculum, just very traditional and beautiful, bright colors, um, modesty, great virtue, like the beauty of the church, like you're going to love it. So it's really beautiful. Let's get started. So it came packaged really well. I really appreciated that. Um, so let's get started. Okay. So these are the fourth grade lesson plans. Um, I love how they're laid out. Very simple. I love that there's space to write things in and it's very colorful, even from the beginning and just, um, lays it out lays it out really well so I like that they tell you the list of things that you'll need they go through each of the books and you know what they're about they give you a little sample here so you can see what it's like so this is their catalog it has everything you need to know and um so yeah so okay let's get started I'm so excited so this is science in God's world four um and this is St. Jerome's grammar for the teacher's uh, the text teacher's manual. So just kind of give you an idea and uh, lots and lots of good information. These books feel amazing. Little Therese, she is my patron saint. I'm so excited about this book. It's lovely inside, uh, beautiful pictures and the sweetest little stories just to give you kind of um, a feel for the book. It is, it's just so, so beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I love all the images in this curriculum. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the readers. And then we have my first book about weather. It's so cute. I have to be honest. I really, really like it. Um, there's so much to draw from this and um, I can just picture my son really enjoying um, having these pages to color and learn from. This is a St. Jerome Catholic Speller um, like um, answer key. I believe it's for all of them um, for certain grade levels, which is really nice. This is Science and God's World 4, the workbook that goes with the textbook at the very beginning, the first one that I showed you. This is the workbook that's going to go with it. I love how everything is so colorful and bright and eye-catching, and I know my kids will really appreciate that as well. 
This is the workbook answer key to the grammar for um, Grammar 4. And what I think is really interesting is it has like, it's kind of like written in by hand, um, which at first was like, oh, this is different. But then I actually really appreciate it because I thought it just kind of had that um, teacher feeling. But this is St. Anthony of Padua, the coloring book. You get to choose which coloring book. Uh, I definitely wanted this one for my son. And look at these pictures. They are so sweet. This one was my favorite when I was looking through it. Um, just him baking some bread. We'll just have to bake some bread too this year. But it's so, so nice. And um, this is Geography, which is just a fun, like, kind of DK book. And uh, my little one started to come around this point, so you might see some feet. <laughs> this is Catholic Penmanship, grade four, which is so important. And I love that they teach cursive, which is wonderful. Um, if you have a student that um, hasn't learn cursive before. I believe they teach it or like um, start in a younger grade and you can always contact the company about that. But they do have a little thing at the beginning here that shows you kind of how to connect and um, things of that nature. Look at this image. I love it. And this is an extra writing pad. And this is the history, our world uh, treasures. This is the workbook. Lots of fun pictures. Um, I'm sure if your child wanted to color them, they could. Um, lots of information here, which is so joyful. And just to see images from biblical times is, um, is a great joy and from the different cultures. Um, okay. This is one of my favorite things that they're bringing back these like 1950 graphic novels. I love them and they feel so amazing and they look wonderful. Um, so this is one of them and I, <laughs> it's just so fun to see them. Oh, this is the art guys. It is so beautiful. Uh, they sent me the fifth grade before, and this is for the fourth grade. Look at these images. And I love the way they ask the questions, um, below and really kind of bring you into the image that you're looking at and, um, and just help the child to really think about it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful pictures. And this is one of my favorites. It's the songbook. And my kids are learning piano at varying levels. And it is so lovely. The songs are beautiful. The images are beautiful. They're simple. They're sweet. Um, I can definitely have my oldest daughter play them. And we can all sing along. I'm really excited about this one. So next we have the speller, which I did share in the original video I made about St. Jerome. Oh, little feet. Um, library and school. I love that it's in alphabetical order. Lots of color. Um, I like the way it's laid out and what they expect the child to do every week with spelling. This is another one of those great graphic novels. We love Our Lady of, Our Lady of Fatima. Um, look at this. They're so sweet. I just love it so much. And the pictures inside are so beautiful and just so much to pull from for the kids to learn about and um, for the kids especially that love graphic novels to kind of go off in the room and just read them and enjoy them. This is so new to me, a child's introduction to the nature of description. It blew me away. It brought me so much joy, so many happy, colorful pictures. And this is what I'm talking about, the simplicity of it. They really lay out exactly what they're wanting from the kids. They're um, teaching the kids clearly, which I really appreciate. There's no confusion. Um, so this is one of the things that really got me really focusing in on uh, St. Jerome Library and School. And then next, I have science and God's. And here's the science curriculum. Um, this is the textbook, which is really fun. I like the kind of um, older feeling style. And um, so you have this textbook. It has some color pictures, some just black and white pictures, lots of different things to pull from. And I just think it's really interesting and really fun. And I kind of like going back to the basics. So you get this textbook. And then, oh, and this is the stories of Pioneer Life. I was so excited when I thought this would be one of the readers for the year. And uh, just really simple, lots of black and white, but really, really great content, really good, wholesome stories. So I was really excited about that. And we live in kind of a pioneering area. Um, this is more of from the history and uh, it's the teacher's manual and the answer key to... Um, the workbook that goes with the text. So that's really nice that they have that, I think. Then um, I love this Sunday morning Storyland with our Lord. And I really like this curriculum too, because it's not just like homeschooling time. It's also like after mass and different times of days and for devotions and things like that. And I just love it. This is Living My Religion Grade 4. Every book feels so good and is so beautiful. Um, that's one of the things I just really, really love about this curriculum. So here's just a little flip through so you can check out the religion, see little hands and feet, 
all running around because my kids got real excited and they wanted to come um, see what was going on and what mama was looking at. Um, even what are the sins against hope? I mean, very specific things, so much to learn about and share with, um, with my children. And this is the grade four workbook for grammar. So this is just um, what it looked like. The teacher guide before that had the answers look like they were kind of like written in. Um, this is the same exact thing, but this is obviously not going to have the answers. And so I kind of like it. So as my child is working in it, I can have one, you know, right beside them. I don't have to look in the back of the book or anything. And when I send it to them, they won't have the answers. I'll have the answers. Um, these are so precious. So it comes with two CDs. They're both, um, sung by these lovely religious sisters. And I was so excited about these CDs. Um, so like I said, there's two of them and, uh, they have really beautiful, sweet songs. There I am in the shot. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. So this is the textbook for the world history. Um, it's lovely. Again, it has the same kind of picture on the cover as the workbook and the answer key. Um, simple pictures, some colored, some not, just like throughout, like here's a, um, some black and white pictures. And, um, and yeah, so that's basically the history textbook. And then, like I said, the workbook and the answer keys. And those are the different areas of history. And this is going to be the grammar textbook. It's a smaller size and it's hardbound. And let me give you a little flip through so you can see. It's just going to be like a textbook you read and um, let history come alive through conversations and chasing down, you know, the whole rabbit hole thing you learn. This, this is the cutest little thing. So cute with the little bears. Um, okay. And then this feels like velvet. I swear. It is so beautiful. Um, the last reader here. And... And it has some really sweet um, stories in it. And I just love the way this book feels. It feels like velvet as I turn the pages. I just love it. But um, it has some great stories in here and just a lot to pull from. So that's it. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. I will leave in the description box below the link to St. Jerome's Library and School. You can check them out. The website's really easy to use. And Nicole, who is the owner, is a wonderful Catholic mother of 10 children. Um, she taught for years and she's brought in a lot of wonderful Catholic teachers as well to help her and the others. They all have written this curriculum. It is, is so beautiful. So if you have any questions, like I said, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Check out the link below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you're new to this channel, I'd love for you to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Hear me, kids. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. God bless.